In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Lord is risen, he is risen indeed, alleluia. <clears throat> to prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily the sacred mysteries, we humbly acknowledge our sins, invoking God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, <clears throat> Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As soon as Peter and John were released, they went to the community and told them everything the chief priests and elders had said to them. When they heard it, they lifted up their voice to God altogether. Master, they prayed, it is you who made heaven and earth and the sea and everything in them. You it is who said through the Holy Spirit and speaking through our ancestor David, your servant, why this arrogance among the peoples, these futile plots among the peoples, kings of earth setting out to war, princes making an alliance against the Lord and against his anointed. This is what has come true. In this very city, Herod and Pontius Pilate made an alliance with the pagan nations and the peoples of Israel against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, but only to bring about the very thing that you in your strength and your wisdom had predetermined should happen. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and help your servants to proclaim your message with all boldness by stretching out your hand to heal and to work miracles and marvels through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the house where they were assembled rocked. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to proclaim the word of God boldly. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. Why this tumult among the nations, among the peoples, this useless murmuring? They arise, the kings of the earth. Princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Come, let us break their fetters. Come, let us cast off their yoke. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord is laughing them to scorn. Then he will speak in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them, shatter them like a potter's jar. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Since you have been brought back to life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, how can a grown man be born? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from water through water and the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh, what is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases, you hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. This is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. That passage from chapter 3 of John's Gospel is a very significant conversation that Jesus has with Nicodemus, the one who comes to him at night afraid that others might see. And yet, what they talk about is something that is very heart and core of our Christian faith, of our Christian life. And in this case, we see so many references to the sacrament of baptism, being born through water and the Holy Spirit. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. And then that reference to the Holy Spirit being like a wind that blows wherever it chooses, and that is how it is with those who are born of the Spirit. The sacrament of baptism is very much linked with the celebration of Easter, traditionally when adults are baptized. It's a moment when we receive the Christ, the risen Lord into our hearts and lives. And that is the moment when we celebrate the sacrament of baptism. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, People are born again to a new life, born again of the Holy Spirit, born to go where the Spirit blows, where the Spirit leads them. The great gift of baptism that we have all received is something that is precious, that is so valuable, but it's something that is alive and continues to be alive. The Spirit whom we received is a Spirit who continues to lead and guide us. The Spirit indeed who blows where he chooses and if we open our hearts to that Spirit, that Spirit will indeed lead us along the paths He chooses for us, enabling us to respond more fully to His will. And we see something of that in the passage we heard from the Acts of the Apostles. The disciples return to the community. But one of the things that they pray for is boldness of faith. And by the grace of the Holy Spirit, who indeed shakes that place where they are gathered, they are indeed emboldened to proclaim the word, to witness to the truth, to proclaim Christ, to make him known. So that same spirit we have received through the sacrament of baptism, we have indeed been born by the grace of the Holy Spirit. The wind continues to blow through our lives, leading us. So as the apostles, may we too respond, may we too be alive with the spirit, proclaiming the gospel, emboldened by the Spirit to proclaim the word of God. We turn to our loving Father and bring our concerns and prayers to him. Let us pray for the church throughout the world that all Christians may indeed renew their faith and commitment to Christ through this Easter season. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all those who are still preparing this year to prepare, preparing for the sacrament of baptism. 
that they may continue that journey of faith and be emboldened in their faith by the Spirit poured out upon them. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for peace wherever conflict divides peoples. We pray for the people of Syria. We pray for wherever there is conflict and violence, that peace prevail and be established. Lord, in your mercy, and we pray too for all those who are sick, those in our hospitals who care for the sick, we pray that they continue to extend God's healing touch to those most in need. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray today for the parish of the Holy Spirit in Dromfield. We pray for Father Adrian Tomlinson, for all the parishioners there, that they continue to embrace the faith and be emboldened to proclaim it. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray too for our departed brothers and sisters. And we pray especially for all the victims of the current pandemic, that they rest in the peace of Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Compassionate and loving Father, hear the prayer we make through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ralph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Regina Celi Leitare, Alleluia. Quia que meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicudixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. <laughs> 